The first thing you'll need to do is to cut and glue a spine liner from thin Japanese paper. The thinner the spine liner is, the more flexible your book will be. The spine liner should be slightly less than the height of your text block and at least a half an inch wider on either side of your spine. you want to miter the corners, so go ahead and draw those in and then cut them out. Take some PVA glue and brush it on and attach your spine liner to your text block. Cut a spine stiffener out of cardstock or a piece of file folder. It should be the width of your text block and the height of your text block plus an eighth of an inch. Glue your spine stiffener to the center of your spine paper. Trim your cover paper or book cloth to about an inch or so on either side of your spine stiffener and about an inch or so above and below. Apply glue to the ends and fold over. Let it dry under a weight. Measure out about 5 eighths of an inch from your spine stiffener on both sides and then use that line to miter the corners. I'm actually marking these with a white gel pen since pencil is hard to see but normally you would do it with a pencil. And just do kind of a, a low sloping miter on all the sides. Use the lines you drew as a guide for putting the glue on the spine. Don't cover the spine stiffener, just those edges between the line and the edge of the paper. Now you can attach your spine to your text block Make sure that it's all aligned perfectly before you lay the flaps down. You can adjust it a little bit like this. 
but you want to make sure you've got it right. Make sure it's on there firmly and then you can put some wax paper around it, put it under a brick and let it dry.